many of the ideas of World War II never came to fruition, but are coming to fruition now. And one of them was the notion of the antipodal bomber, a bomber that could literally span the entire globe in space. A designed by a man called Eugen Sanger, a man who was decades ahead of his time. If you want an example of looking really into the future, then look at the amazing designs of Eugen Sanger. This man had a plan for what he called an antipodal bomber. It could fly to the Antipodes, the other side of the world. Sanger's space bomber was decades ahead of its time. As it left the track, a second rocket inside the bomber would alter the plane's trajectory and propel it 90 miles into space. The point about Eugen Sanger's design was that you'd in essence put the plane into an orbit. Traveling at 13,500 miles an hour, it would circuit the Earth in two hours. The landing part, where it's in essence gliding down to Earth without any power is very much like the shuttle. The difference between the antipodal bomber and the modern shuttle is that the shuttle doesn't have engines and the antipodal bomber did. That was our computer reconstruction of Eugen Sanger's original design. But now, in modern day Cambridge, England, there are plans afoot to create the Skylon, something very similar to what Eugen Sanger thought of back in World War II. Sanger's original ideas. I don't think that such a clever person ought to be forgotten.